Education in Argentina The Argentina education is considered one of the most advanced world culture and progressive in Latin America along with Cuba and Uruguay, as well, is firmly recognized and highlighted by various international organizations, such as the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization and the United Nations Fund for Children. Education in state institutions is free at the initial, primary, secondary and tertiary levels and in the undergraduate university level. Private education is paid, although in some cases have state subsidies to support its costs, according to studies by UNESCO. Education in Argentina and Uruguay guarantee a quality to have institutional features that hinder the commercialization of education, as well as Finland has characteristics that favor multi-ethnic population education and special education. Education favors Argentina equality. According to the last census, the illiteracy rate is 1.9%, the second lowest in Latin America. In the last decade, Argentina has created nine new universities, while the outflow of university students increased by 68%. Education is a responsibility shared by the national government, the provinces and federal district and private institutions. Though basic guidelines have historically been set by the Ministry of Education, closely associated in Argentina with President Domingo Sarmiento's assertion that the sovereign should be educated, education has been extended nearly universally and its maintenance remains central to political and cultural debate. Even though education at all levels, including universities, has always been free, there is a large number of private schools and universities. History The education in Argentina known as the Latin American doctor has had a convoluted history. There was no effective education plan until President Domingo Sarmiento placed emphasis on bringing Argentina up to date with practices in developed countries. Sarmiento encouraged the immigration and settling of European educators and built schools and public libraries throughout the country, in a program that finally doubled the enrollment of students during his term. In Argentina, Teachers' Day commemorates his death. The first national laws mandating universal, compulsory, free and secular education were sanctioned in 1884 during the administration of President Julio Roca. The non-religious character of this system, which forbade parochial schools from issuing official degrees directly but only through a public university, harmed the relations between the Argentine state and the Catholic Church, leading to resistance from the local clergy and a heated conflict with the Holy See. Following the university reform of 1918, Argentine education, especially at university level, became more independent of the government, as well as the influential Catholic Church. The Church began to re-emerge in country's secular education system during the administration Juan Perón, when in 1947, catechism was reintroduced in public schools, and parochial institutions began again receiving subsidies. A sudden reversal in the policy in 1954 helped lead to Perón's violent overthrow, after which his earlier pro-clerical policies were reinstated by General Pedro Aramburu. Aramburu's Law 6403 of 1955, which advanced private education generally, and parochial, or more often, Catholic-run schools, in particular, helped lead to the establishment of the Argentine Catholic University. The program of deregulation and privatization pursued by President Carlos Menem in reaction to the country's socio-economic crisis of 1989 led to the decentralization of the Argentine secondary school system, whereby, from 1992 onward, the school's administration and funding became a provincial responsibility. The policy's weakness, however, lay in that federal revenue sharing did not increase accordingly, particularly given the decision to shift two primary school years to the secondary system. Real government spending on education increased steadily from the return of democratic rule in 1983 and, in 2007, totaled over $14 billion. Achievements 
In spite of its many problems, Argentina's higher education managed to reach worldwide levels of excellence in the 1960s. Up to 2013 Argentina educated five Nobel Prize winners, three in the sciences. Luis Federico La Loya, Bernardo Hussein C. E. Acute S. A. R. Milstein and two in peace. Carlos Salvadra Lamas and Adolfo Perez Esquivel, the highest number in Latin America surpassing countries economically more developed and populated as Ireland or Spain. In addition, as of 2010, Argentines are the only Latin Americans to have ever been honored with a Rolf Schock Prize. The Argentine population at large benefits from a relatively high level of educational attainment by regional standards. Among those aged 20 and over, the highest level attained per the 2010 census was distributed thus. Characteristics Education in Argentina has four levels and two different systems. Initial level, primary level, secondary level and tertiary level. In Buenos Aires province, primary level is called education primary or EP and comprises grades first to sixth. Secondary level called education secundaria or S comprises grades 1st to 6th. EP and S are divided in two stages, called cyclus. EPI, 1st, 2nd and 3rd school years. EP2, 4th, 5th and 6th school years. SI, 1st, 2nd and 3rd school years. S2, 4th, 5th and 6th school years. In the rest of the country EP comprises grades 1st to 7th. S comprises grades 1st to 5th. In both systems EP is mandatory to all students, as well as secondary education, according to the national educational law established in 2011. The fourth stage is tertiary education, which includes both college and university education. Education is funded by taxpayers at all levels except for the majority of graduate studies. There are many private school institutions in the primary, secondary and university levels. Around 11.4 million people were enrolled in formal education of some kind in 2005. Qualification modes of grading in the Latin American doctor the scale to grade up the academic performance in students at the primary and secondary. School rest in the 1 to 10 ladder as is described in the following frame. In the university system however the scale can vary depending on the independent policies and statutes of grading of each independent Argentine university. Primary education accepted between ages 6 and 14. Primary education comprises the first EP cycles. Because of the system that was in place during 1995 to 2007, most schools that offered seven years of primary school prior to 1995 were forced to be converted and accept grades 8th and 9th, while others chose to eliminate 7th grade altogether, forcing students to complete the third cycle in another institution. Secondary education Secondary education in Argentina comprises two levels. Years 1st to 3rd are common to all schools. Years 4th to 6th are organized in orientations such as social sciences, natural sciences, arts, sport, design, etc. An additional year is offered in certain schools, which grants a professional title, also with orientations. In many provinces the secondary education system is still divided in three traditional large groups, bachelor, schools commercial schools and esculas technicas, each one subdivided in more specific orientations related to its main branch. In December 2006 the Chamber of Deputies of the Argentine Congress approved a new national education law restoring the old system of primary followed by secondary education, making secondary education obligatory in a right and increasing the length of compulsory education to 12 years. The transitional period ended in 2011. In addition an adult system of high schools exists in order to guarantee secondary education to people over 18. Normally it consists in one or two years of intensive program of study and it is provided by a large number of public and private schools varying on each province. Night shift is available in order to satisfy those who work during the day. 
These high school diplomas are accepted to enroll in a university. Argentina's network of vocational schools, many under the auspices of the National Technological University, have historically given students viable alternatives, as well. International education As of January 2015, the International Schools Consultancy listed Argentina as having 160 international schools. ISC defines an international school in the following terms. ISC includes an international school if the school delivers a curriculum to any combination of preschool, primary or secondary students, wholly or partly in English outside an English-speaking country, or if a school in a country where English is one of the official languages offers an English medium curriculum other than the country's national curriculum and is international in its orientation. This definition is used by publications including The Economist. Higher education in Argentina Argentine higher education system is based, since its conception during the colonial period, on the old and dogmatic Spanish higher education system, which is basically a continental education system. A historic event took place in the Reforma Universitaria de 1918, a highly popular series of reforms that took place in the oldest university of the country. The Universidad de Córdoba that finally paved the way to the modernization of the Argentinian higher university systems as it is known nowadays. Since its foundation, it was focused on the teaching of professions offering professional degrees. It is divided in three levels. Tertiary education level, one to three years degrees related to education or technical professions like teachers, professorship, technicians, University level, four to six years professional education taught at universities offering many different degrees licentiate, engineering degree, medic title, attorney title, professorships, translation degrees, etc. Postgraduate level, this is a specialized and research-oriented education level. It is roughly divided in a first sub-level where a specialist degree can be obtained in a 12 to 18 months period or master degree, requiring 24 to 30 months and an original research work and a higher sub-level where a doctorate degree could be achieved. Funding One important aspect is that public universities at tertiary education level and at university level are tuition-free and open to anyone. Although it is not required to pay any kind of fee at universities, hidden costs of education, like transportation and materials, are often neglected and a lack of a well-developed and widespread scholarship system makes it hard for students from low-income families to enroll in public universities. For each eight students from the 20% upper income class, there is only one student from the 20% lower income class. In contrast, postgraduate education requires some form of funding and it is generally not free. Additionally, financial pressure to freshman college students force them to join the workforce before graduation. Thus, it is very common for young students to have full-time jobs and at the same time study at the university. This is considered beneficial because when the students graduate they already have working experience though this could also be one of the causes of the high ratio of dropouts. College education Argentina maintains a network of 39 national universities, financed by the Ministry of Education since 1946. Private and parochial universities are also abundant, numbering 46 among the active institutions and they enroll about a sixth of the collegiate student body. Summing up, over 1.5 million students attend institutions of higher learning in Argentina annually. Argentina does not have a standard and common system of examination after high school. Thus admission to universities is strictly defined by each university. Moreover, a steady degradation in primary and secondary education created a huge difference between the required level to enter a university and the level achieved by the high school students. Some universities like University of Buenos Aires cope with this issue by creating a one-year shared program called CBC that students need to complete in order to join the university. 
Graduate school The doctoral fields of study in Argentina are generally research-oriented doctoral studies, leading mostly to the awarding of the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Science, Doctor of Medicine, and Doctor of Law, among others. Enrollment in doctorate programs in Argentina is available to candidates having earned a licentiate professorships, engineer's degree or master's degree in a related area of study. Doctoral fields of study mostly pertain to one of five fields of knowledge. Applied sciences, basic sciences, health sciences, human sciences and social sciences. The doctoral studies offered by the Argentine universities include multiple fields and do have national and international validity of the degrees. Granted, academic regulations governing doctorates and their corresponding fields. In Argentina prescribe that all graduate courses must be accredited by the National Commission for University Evaluation and Accreditation. This entity stands as a public and decentralized body working under the jurisdiction of the Department of Education, Science and Technology. It administers the process of evaluation and accreditation for all doctorate programs, and is responsible for the institutional evaluation of all such programs at a national level. Graduate programs, including the doctorados, set standards per guidelines set forth by the Ministry of Science and Technology together with the university's council. Additionally, external evaluations of the doctoral programs are carried out by the National Commission for University Evaluation and Accreditation, or private entities created to that effect, together with the participation of academic peers. Argentine institutions of higher education provide further accreditation by international establishments to many of their courses of studies. Universities Public Universities Autonomous University of Entre Rios, University of Buenos Aires, National University Arturo Jurecha, National University of Avellaneda, National University of Catamarca, National University of Chile Cita, National University of Cordoba, National University of Cuyo, National University of Entre Rios. National University of Formosa, National University of General San Martin, National University of General Sarmiento, National University of Jose C. Paz, National University of Dujuy, National University of La Matanza, National University of La Pampa, National University of Patagonia, National University of Patagonia Astral, National University of La Plata, National University of La Rioja, National University of Lanus, National University of Lomas de Zamora, National University of Luyan, National University of Mar del Plata, National University of Misiones. National University of Marino, National University of Quilmes, National University of Rio Cuarto, National University of Rio Negro, National University of Rosario, National University of Salta, National University of San Juan, National University of San Luis, National University of Santiago del Estero, National University of Tierra del Fuego, Antarctica and South Atlantic Islands, National University of Tres de Febrero, National University of Tucumán, National University of Villa Maria, National University of Villa Mercedes, National University of Central Buenos Aires. National University of Austral Chaco, National University of Comahue, National University of Littoral, Northeastern University, National University of Noroeste of Buenos Aires, National University of the USA, National University of the Sur, National Technological University, Private Universities Technological Institute of Buenos Aires. University Institute of Health Sciences, Ha Barcelo Foundation, H.A. Barcelo Foundation, Open Inter-American University, Adventist University of Plata, Argentina University of the Company, Universidad Argentina John F. 
Kennedy, Atlantis Argentina University, Austral University, University Blas Pascal, CAEC University, Catholic University Argentina, Catholic University of Cordoba, Catholic University of Cuyo, Catholic University of La Plata, Catholic University of Parana, Catholic University of Salta, Catholic University of Santa Fe, Catholic University of Santiago del Estero, Champaign 8 University, University of Belgrano, CEMA University, University of Business and Social Sciences, University of Concepcion del Uruguay, University of Congress, University of Flores, University of Cuenca del Plata, University of the Fraternity of Saint, Thomas Aquino Groupings, University of Merchant, University of Mendoza, University of Moron, University of Palermo, University of San Andres, University of San Isidro, University of Sao Paulo, University of Aconcagua, University of the Latin American Educational Center, University of Cinema, University of the Argentine Social Museum, University of North Street, Thomas Aquinas, University of Salvador, 21st Century Business University, University Favalera, University ISALUD, Juan Agustin Marza University, University Maimonides, University Notarial Argentina, Torquato di Tella University, Death, the first national laws mandating universal, compulsory, Free and secular education were sanctioned in 1884 during the administration of President Julio Roca. The non-religious character of this system, which forbade parochial schools from issuing official degrees directly but only through a public university, harmed the relations between the Argentine state and the Catholic Church, leading to resistance from the local clergy and a heated conflict with the Holy See. Following the university reform of 1918, Argentine education, especially at university level, became more independent of the government, as well as the influential Catholic Church. The Church began to re-emerge in country's secular education system during the administration. Education in Argentina The Argentina education is considered one of the most advanced world culture and progressive in Latin America along with Cuba and Uruguay, as well, is firmly recognized and highlighted by various international organizations, such as the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization and the United Nations Fund for Children. Education in state institutions is free at the initial, primary, secondary and tertiary levels and in the undergraduate university level. Private education is paid, although in some cases have state subsidies to support its costs. According to studies by UNESCO, education in Argentina and Uruguay guarantee equality to have institutional features that hinder the commercialization has been extended nearly universally and its maintenance remains central to political and cultural debate. Even though education at all levels, including universities, has always been free, there is a large number of private schools and universities. History The education in Argentina known as the Latin American doctor has had a convoluted history. There was no effective education plan until President Domingo Sarmiento placed emphasis on bringing Argentina up to date with practices in developed countries. Sarmiento encouraged the immigration and settling of European educators and built schools and public libraries throughout the country, in a program that finally doubled the enrollment of students during his term. In Argentina, Teachers' Day commemorates his Stration Juan Perón, when in 1947, catechism was reintroduced in public schools, and parochial institutions began again receiving subsidies. A sudden reversal in the policy in 1954 helped lead to Perón's violent overthrow, after which his earlier 
pro-clerical policies were reinstated by General Pedro Aramburu. Aramburu's Law 6403 of 1955, which advanced private education generally, and parochial, or more often, Catholic-run schools, in particular, helped lead to the establishment of the Argentine Catholic University. The program of deregulation and privatization pursued by President Carlos Menem in reaction to the country's socio-economic crisis and of education, as well as Finland has characteristics that favor multi-ethnic population education and special education. Education favors Argentina equality. According to the last census, the illiteracy rate is 1.9 percent, the second lowest in Latin America. In the last decade, Argentina has created nine new universities, while the outflow of university students increased by 68 percent. Education is a responsibility shared by the national government, the provinces and federal district and private institutions. Though basic guidelines have historically been set by the Ministry of Education, closely associated in Argentina with President Domingo Sarmiento's assertion that the sovereign should be educated, education